Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So I just got back from my trip. Um, I went to Maryland for a couple of weeks and I came back to a bunch of product that was sent to me and I also did a little bit of shopping and I asked you guys, I think it was on Twitter or on Snapchat, on one of those two. I think it was actually both of them. If you guys wanted to see a haul and a lot of you guys said yes, so I have a lot to get through, like a lot to get through. I wanted to do clothes too, but then I was like, you know what, I'll just do a clothing haul some other day because I have so much to get through. I have like two huge boxes of product. A lot of it was sent to me and a few products I did purchase myself. I'll let you know throughout the video which ones I purchased myself and which was or which were um, sent to me because um, I'm not trying to be like sneaky here. Um, but yeah, so if you guys want to see what I got, then just keep on watching. You know what, I just put a beanie on because I, n I don't even know why I insist on curling my hair when I know I'm one of those people that just don't really look good with curly hair when I have short hair. I don't know why I insist on doing it, but I do it and I, I know that I don't like it. So this is what we're getting. All right, welcome back, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and just move this mirror because... Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and start off with like the biggest package. It sounded just a little bit dirty. But this is from Sigma. It came in this huge box from Sigma and it is there. It came with a bunch of little packaging pubes which I like to call them because they seriously are just like little packaging pubes. They get everywhere and they're a mess. Um, this is a 100% natural clean Sigma brush shampoo which I'm so excited to get. The packaging is adorable. You open up these little doors and you get this little paper. And then in here is this little guy. And I'm so excited to try this. It is an ethically sourced palm oil and virgin coconut oil um, brush. It's 100% natural, which I'm all about. And this is what it looks like. And it's pretty big. Like, this is a lot, I think. It's five ounces, which is a pretty good amount. Um, for those of you who don't, you know, do makeup tutorials for a living or aren't, like, a makeup artist, if you're somebody that has, like, five to ten brushes in your collection, this should last you a pretty long time because this is a lot. And it is new from Sigma from the leaders in brushes and brush care. It is 100% natural. It has virgin coconut oil, palm oil, and it has no additives or preservatives. It's made in the Philippines. That's pretty cool. And it's 100% clean. It says breaks down buildup, no stiff residue, and antimicrobial. And that's the kind of stuff you want to look for when cleaning your makeup brushes. You want something that'll take everything, everything, everything out of them because then you're just going to be rubbing bacteria back into your skin. That is no bueno. You don't want that. Nobody wants that. And it's worldwide launch is October 24th. So maybe like in a couple weeks. And it is going to retail for $15. And... I do have a coupon code which should get you some money off of this and $15 is pretty inexpensive. Like I'm honestly shocked that it's $15. That's pretty damn good. You guys, that's pretty damn good. I have a hair right here. Stop that. Autumn is going straight for the freaking confetti pubes. That's not gonna happen, ma'am. So this is the first thing I got. I'm really excited to use this. This was sent to me. I am an affiliate with Sigma. If you guys don't know what affiliate is, it is basically when you use my coupon code, I do make a small commission out of it. That means basically a certain percentage gets paid back to me, which I just want to be transparent with you guys. A lot of people don't like like that sneaky little factor. I'm being completely honest with you guys. I make a commission every time you guys use my coupon code. And for those of you guys who have already used it, I greatly appreciate it because makeup is expensive and so is rent. You guys don't have to use my coupon code, but if you guys do, I greatly appreciate it. I have this huge box worth of stuff, guys. But I have to get through it. It's jam-packed in here. Um, so I'm not gonna go in any particular order. I'm just gonna grab and go. And the first thing I'm grabbing, I actually purchased. This was not sent to me. I'm so excited. This is my Lorac Mega Pro 3 palette. This packaging is so freaking adorable. This packaging, it reminds me of like The Great Gatsby, which I love that movie. And this is the packaging it comes in. It is so gorgeous. This is by far my favorite out of the two that I own. I wasn't really crazy about the first one. I never actually owned the first one, but after looking at the colors, I'm actually happy that I, that I didn't get it because they weren't really in my comfort zone. These are all mauve and warm, which is perfect for the fall. The Laura Ringa Po 2, you guys know, I have it right here. You guys know is one of my used abused palettes um this is it right here i got this one last year it's absolutely gorgeous the first row i absolutely adore but i feel like this one i'm gonna get so much more use out of it because 
because it has so many of like my kind it's like the perfect mixture of warm and mauve so beautiful like I'm almost afraid to touch it this is the bio element control sleepwear night cream oil it's actually a cream this actually came with a little friend. This came with the Bio Element Sleepwear for Eyes Over Night Age Activist Eye Cream. All of these have really, sorry, <laughs> I'm spinning a lot. All of these have really huge long names. But basically, um, this was sent to me, but what really intrigued me of it is it is oil control sleepwear. Anything that says oil control for me, I get tunnel vision to you and I just need to have. I haven't tried the sleepwear for eyes. I did try this last night because I've only used it once. I can't have like a certain opinion on it yet, but I will say that I didn't wake up as oily as I usually do. Some nights are better than others. I have really weird skin. In. Some days I'll be super oily, some days I'll be super dry, some days I'll be combination. I get it all. So I'm really excited to really, really, really give these two a shot. Again, they are from Bio Element. Elements, they were sent to me, um, and they are overnight age activist cream for combination to oily skin with calcium, retinol, peptides, and vitamin E. I've heard great things about all those ingredients. And the overnight eyes, an overnight age activist eye cream with calcium, hyaluronic acid, peptides, and cranberry seed oil. That just sounds like a whole bunch of good shit. Next product. The next product I actually bought, this is the Sephora Perfection Mist Airbrush Foundation. I have been wanting to try this foundation for such a long time, like years. A long time. I got mine in the shade Honey. I hope it's not too dark for me. This one, when I was reading the description on the Sephora website because I ordered it online, felt most like my skin. So I'm really excited to try this. The reason I wanted this foundation was because I knew I would be flying back because it's like metal. It felt like a really good traveling foundation. Still haven't used it, still have the thing over it, having used it once. The next product I bought off of Sephora, I'm so excited It Cosmetics is at Sephora. I love It Cosmetics. There has been very few things from It Cosmetics, if anything, that I haven't loved, you know what I mean? This is the Bye Bye Pores Primer. Again, anything that has pore minimizing, pore reducing, Bye Bye Pores, obviously that's gonna get my attention. I've heard such good things about this primer, such good things about this primer. And you guys know me. You guys know that I'm somebody that doesn't really buy primers. Like for my professional, I bought the small one first. For my Smashbox pore minimizing, I bought the little one. Just because I like to try things before I really invest in them. I just bought this whole thing. Honestly, I saw, I think, Ready, Set, Glamour. Michelle. Um, I saw her review on it on Snapchat and that pretty much convinced me to try this. I'm so excited to try this. It's an oil-free poreless skin perfecting serum primer. I really want to do a first impression makeup tutorial. Um, I really like doing those or like just a first impressions makeup video. Um, but I need your help and I would really like you guys to let me know what products you guys want to see down below because I have a lot of products. So whatever you guys want to see me use and get a first impression on, leave down below and I will try to create a makeup tutorial using all those things. The next thing I got, I also purchased. This is from Morphe. I'm really excited about this. I got their contour kit, not contour kit, but a contour palette from Morphe. It is the 06 PC. It looks like this. I absolutely love pink and yellow undertones. I don't think I'm gonna get much use out of the white one because I feel like that would look weird on me because I'm brown. And these contour colors don't really look like contour colors to me. They look like bronzy colors, which I love bronzy colors. So I'm really excited to use this. I have been just using and abusing my Anastasia contour kits. This is my Anastasia contour kit. I think I got this like two years ago. Using and abusing this. I honestly don't know how I haven't hit pan yet. I don't know. I just wanted to try something different. As loyal as I have been to this, as much as I love this, this one really intrigued me. Also, fun fact, I haven't really tried anything from Morphe, so I'm really excited to dabble into this brand now and just see how I feel about it. This next, pro actually, you know what? Let me see if I can move it. These next two products, I was actually at CVS and I was on the phone with Donut, who has her own YouTube channel, and she actually just uploaded a haul today if I'm not mistaken. Go over to her channel, I'll link her page down below. But I was on the phone with her and we were talking about how we were both like blush whores and mascara whores. And I told her because I thought I lost my mascara when I was in Connecticut, but I didn't. I actually found it, thank God. Um, but I thought I lost it so I needed like a new mascara 
and I asked her which one to get. She recommended the L'Oreal Telescopic. I didn't like the L'Oreal Telescopic, um, so she recommended the L'Oreal Voluminous. And at the time, I forgot that I had actually used this before, and I actually really liked it. And I was wanting to get a new one that, that I've never tried before, but I ended up getting something that I have used before. I used to love this mascara, like when I first started my channel. And then she recommended this blush from NYX, and it is called Pink the Town. I am so excited to try this blush. It looks like a blush that's honestly so up my alley. It looks so freaking cute. In the monitor, it looks a lot more coral than it actually is. It's honestly just a really nice brown spice pink. And I love shades like this. And I told her I needed a new blush because I've been abusing apricot in the middle. You guys know how I feel about that blush. I'm wearing apricot in the middle again on my cheeks because I can't stop, won't stop using it. But I'm hoping that this kind of breaks my cycle. Thank you, Donut, for recommending them. Okay, next. Next product, I think I can just move these on my lap because I'm tired of like reaching. So the next two products I actually were, these were actually sent to me. These are from Charlotte Tilbury. I feel so fancy schmancy even mentioning these products on my channel. These are like the first like high-end luxury like products I've ever received. And this is the, oh my, I feel so freaking fancy talking about these. But here I am sitting with a freaking Baltimore t-shirt, pajama pants, just keeping it real with you guys, and green hair. And I'm gonna be talking about some Charlotte Tilbury-ish. Your bitch feels fancy right now. So this is from Charlotte Tilbury. This is Charlotte's Magic Cream. This is the Treat and Transform Moisturizer. And can we just talk about the packaging real quick? Like, look at, first of all, it has this layer. Then it has this, oh my god, ooh. The Magic Dew of Youth and Luminosity in a Jar. I'm not really into dew and luminosity, but I'm super into moisture, especially in the winter. In California, there's wind, it's a dry cold, and it just, it messes with your skin like you wouldn't believe. So, um, I'm really, ooh, the freaking packaging my Charlotte you go girl this is gorgeous I'm so excited to try this this is my oh it says my pro collagen wonder workout oh it has like a wonder workout for your skin Charlotte's magic cream instant turnaround moisturizer hydrant instant tay that's in French. I'm so excited to try this. I'm all about skincare right now, especially because, like I said, it is gonna be winter here soon, and my skin wreaks havoc in the winter. Sometimes, like, I honestly don't wanna go outside because of how terrible my skin acts. Um, so I'm really excited to really treat my skin with some nice, luxurious product. Haven't tried this yet, obviously, but I'm really excited to try this. And then the next thing that I got from Char Charlotte Tilbury, I've heard actually a lot about, I haven't heard anybody actually talk about the magic cream ever but I'm really excited to try again I've heard about this I think I heard Kathleen lights rave about it and that is the film star bronze and glow face sculpt and highlight and this I'm just gonna go ahead and take again it has like this little first layer and this color honestly this is probably my favorite eyeshadow color ever aside from like nice orange this is like my favorite eyeshadow color and it has her little logo and then you open it and it says right here the secret that that silver screen sirens have kept to themselves for years and then it has the same exact thing in French oh my god this this packaging you guys are you freaking kidding me right now this is like your grandma's makeup compact if your grandma was like Audrey Hepburn or Marilyn or maybe you know some Lauren Bacall oh so excited to try this look at that honestly the bronzer looks a little too light for me but the highlight I'm gonna swatch it real quick this the highlight looks nice and soft and not glittery at all, which I love highlights like this, so I'm excited to try this. Next product, again, was sent to me. This is from ColourPop. This is their Zingara Super Shock Shadow Collection. Another fun fact about me, I haven't tried eyeshadows from ColourPop. I've tried their lippy sticks. I think I've tried their glosses. Um, I mean their suede or something suede lip. You guys know what I mean. I hope, hope you guys know what I mean. Um, but I haven't tried their eyeshadows. I'm super excited to, to try them. Honestly, this is like a fall lover's dream. Like, like, I don't know if you guys can see these colors. Paradox. This is the color of like my soul. We got Seeker, which is this beautiful like deep chocolate brown. We have Elixir, which is this beautiful like just orange brown. And then we have have Jinxie, which, oh my god, yes, I'll take it. 
Whew. Next product. This I actually bought because I'm a concealer whore. I got the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I bought this when I got the uh, the Lorac Mega Pro 3 because it was, this is exclusive to Ulta and I'm really excited to use this. There has not been one beauty vlogger that I have seen use this that didn't absolutely love it. So I'm so excited to use this. This has Shea Butter, Sunflower, Peony, Licorice Root, and Vitamin E. Like enriched into the concealer and I bought it in the shade light. I feel like this is going to be way too light for me guys but I'm going to try and mix it with another concealer and make it work because like I couldn't not get like obviously this is way too light for me. I'm probably going to have to mix it but they didn't have my shade. They were honestly like sold out of all the shades because this is so hyped but I will buy another shade and mix it. I'll try to make it work in some way. I just had to have this concealer because I'm, I'm obsessed with concealers. That's my strawberry jam. I bought an e.l.f. blush brush because I really like the shape of it honestly not for blush but to set my under eyes and these black elf brushes are so soft and such good quality I feel like they're so under hyped so I had to get this brush because I, I actually bought this myself. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you guys know that Best Damn Beauty actually has sent me products. And I'm also an affiliate with them now. But I went ahead and just bought this myself because it's honestly something I've been wanting to try forever. And I wanted to purchase this myself with my own money. It is the Best Damn Lip Mask. I've tried this, you guys. And honestly, it's as amazing as you've heard. Like, it's so good. It's so hydrating. It smells like just a classic lip balm it's not floral it's not minty it smells like what a hydrating lip balm should smell like in my opinion and it is so damn good I've used this already a couple times it's so good I'm obsessed with lip balms because I'm obsessed with like lipsticks I think and I'm always looking for the best lip balm I have so many and I've been wanting to do like a battle of the lip balms video like where I tell you guys the best lip balms that I have tried personally and they range from dry store to high end. But then I was like, who would even watch it? So let me know down below if you guys are interested in seeing a battle of the lip balm video. The next things I got were sent to me again another company i an affiliate with and i do have a coupon code so this is what they sent me i'm gonna go ahead and just open like they sent me their perfecting puff that's cute um i haven't tried this yet honestly i'm gonna take it out of the box right now just to see how like squishy Ooh, this feels really squishy not really hard like some that i've tried and i actually really like the color i'm interested of how it's gonna work like wet it's not as soft as a lot of sponges but also not as hard as a lot of sponges that i've tried they also sent me which i'm super excited about some highlights and look how they package this they package this so cute packaging pubes they sent me rodeo drive the highlighter i'm so freaking stoked for this i'm so freaking stoked to try this you guys know i'm not really a highlight girl but i'm getting into it the thing about highlight though is i'm not an all over glow person i honestly like to be matte i think nikki tutorials honestly describe perfectly how i feel about highlight and like looking dewy and stuff because she said that she likes her matte face because she likes to control where her glow is and i'm the exact same way i actually really like matte foundations because i like to control my oil and i like my highlight to be where i want it to be not just freaking everywhere i'm not really into that look but when i want to glow when i want my cheekbones to glow when i want this nose to glow i do like to highlight but I like to control where my highlight is coming from. Not all over the face, just in specific parts. So I'm really excited to use this. They also sent me their new like highlight and contour concealers or I, I'm honestly not sure what they call them. Ooh, I'm not really into cream contouring, but cream highlighting, that's my ish. These are called their skin sculpting wands. That's cute. I love me some concealers in my life. And the next things they sent me, they sent me long lasting, their long lasting liquid lipsticks, which I freaking, I'm wearing an Oprah lipstick right now in the color Mocha. I love their formula of liquid lipstick. It's honestly so comfortable. I could have it all on it all day long and not even feel a thing. So this one is in the color, what color are you? Emerald City. It looks like such a freaking dope color. Oh my Lord. Okay. Okay. I see you, sir. And then the next one I got is in the shade Fantasia. I'm just gonna say Fantasia. It could be Fantasia, but I'm gonna say Fantasia. 
and it looks like this oh my god that's stunning this is stunning it's like a really nice metallic raspberry color and the last thing i got is another highlighter again packaged with the um you guys know what i'm thinking about right and it looks like this oh my god this is so cute this is in the shade beverly hills yes lord the next thing i also bought myself this is the ben nye natural set colorless powder i am really excited to use this really excited to use this I honestly love my ben nye banana powder and i swear these powders are such good investments because you guys i've had this powder for two years and look at where i'm at no three years i bought this powder when i was in alaska and look how much i still have these are such good investments honestly these will last you almost a lifetime so i went ahead and got this i'll let you guys know how i feel about this one and then the next thing i got i got at a ccs I bought this because it was 13 dollars, and it's a concealer and it is their line smoothing concealer which i'm all about that make me look airbrushed under my eyes please and i got it in the shade honey so this is going to be not really to highlight this is going to be for those days where i just want to conceal and maybe throw some powder on my face i'm going to reach for this guy and then i got another brush from elf i got a concealer brush i like these brushes because these are the brushes that i use when i want to um really clean up my eyebrows i got another foundation from sephora sephora tint infusion in the color 23 natural beige really excited to try this i'm not really familiar with serum foundations but this was 11 dollars on the sephora website guys and when a foundation at sephora is 11 dollars, you kind of have to get it i might not like it but i might love it and it was 11 bucks like okay it won't hurt me that bad and then i got a little step one makeup forever primer um like the sample size so i'll see how i feel about that and then I got the Rimmel Exaggerate Lip Liner in the color You're All Mine. Then I went ahead and got some, I'm so obsessed with these guys. I freaking love the Maybelline color tattoos. So I got, I got, I got three and these are their leather cure. Well, one is leather cure and I got one in the shade creamy beige, which this is just going to be such a gorgeous, gorgeous, like wear on its own eye color. I've worn this on its own. Honestly, it, it's just so beautiful, but it could also be used as like a nice base for you know your entire eyeshadow look um and then i got this one in the color vintage plum which oh my god it's like a gray purple so obsessed with colors like these so naturally i had to have this and then you guys i have a freaking look in mind with this eyeshadow i have a look in mind i hope i can pull it off i hope i can make it happen this is their inked in pink it's like a mauvey rosy i'm so excited to try this in the way that i'm hoping it works out for me i'm sorry my nose is i'm hoping it works out for me in the way that i want it to work out because the look that i have in mind for this color oh my god i'm just so ready and then the last thing i got i purchased my damn self and i'm really excited about this because as i've mentioned before i've never tried morphe anything um so i'm excited to try this i got their little gunmetal collection <sighs> i'm really excited to try this out guys brushes from morphe i've heard nothing but great things so i'm really excited to like try for myself i had to get the gunmetal collection simply because every time i watch youtube videos and they're using a morphe gunmetal collection brush they just look so badass in my opinion so i hope i can look badass now too i don't know if that makes sense but i don't know they just look so cool i couldn't resist getting the gunmetal collection like i had to i honestly had to and it comes in a cute little pouch and it says morphe i'm excited Whew. so that was everything you guys i really hope i can cut this video into like a good solid maybe 15 minutes i'm hoping it was so much stuff though i really appreciate you guys watching thank you guys so much for you know being a part of my world i miss you guys i miss filming again let me know what you guys want to use in the first impressions makeup video i love you guys and i'll catch you in my next one